Okay, in this video we're going to look at division by decimals. So dividing uh, numbers by decimal numbers. So it could be dividing whole numbers like integers by decimals, or it could even be dividing decimals by decimals. But the technique's the same. Okay, so if I was doing 6 divided by 3, now we're just going to have a look at this just to sort of get... Um, there's going to be a technique that we're going to use, and this will help you sort of see why. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Well, obviously. No. What would happen if I multiply the 6 by 10 and the 3 by 10? So 60 divided by 30. Well, how many 30s go into 60? Well, two 30s go into 60. Notice how the answer is unchanged, that whenever you multiply both the number you're dividing and the number you're dividing by both by the same number, that you get the same answer. Okay, so if you, likewise, if you multiply them both by, if you multiply 6 by 100 and 3 by 100, you'd get 600 divided by 300. So how many 300s go into 600? 2 do. Notice again that your answer doesn't change. Notice then that if you divide both of these by uh, 10, you'd get 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.3. And again, your answer would be 2. There's two 0 0.3s and 0 0.6. This little technique is going to be quite useful whenever you're dividing by decimal numbers. It makes some a lot easier. Um, also, watch the, uh, the video on short division um, if you, you know, need a bit of practice on that because without that skill, you won't be able to do this lesson as easily. Okay, we're going to look at 18 divided by 0 0.2. Now, as we've just seen, uh, you can multiply both of these numbers by 10, 100, divide by 10, you can times both of them by 2, whatever, and you'll still get the same answer. Now, dividing by decimal numbers is actually quite tricky, so it actually is a lot easier if you can change the number you're dividing by into a whole number. Now, if you multiply this number by 10, you would get 2. And if you multiply this number by 10, you would get 180. Well, from what we just looked at, if we'd done this sum, we would get the same answer to this sum. Therefore, it's just a lot easier way to do it. So, let's do 180 divided by 2. Now, you might just say, well, half of 180 is 90. I'm just going to use the, uh, the short division method because um, with these numbers, you, you will get harder ones to do. So, 2 into 1 doesn't go. The 1's remainder. 2 into 18 goes 9 times. And 2 into 0 goes 0. So, the answer to this sum is 90. Therefore, the answer to this sum is 90. So, 18 divided by 0 0.2 equals 90. Let's have a look at another question. Okay, we're now going to look at 17.5 divided by 0 0.5. Well, again, dividing by 0 0.5 can be quite tricky. So, if you times this by 10, you would get 5. And then, because you've times this one by 10, you'd have to multiply this number by 10 as well. So, you get 175. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do 175 divided by 5. And that will give you the same answer to the sum above. So, 175 divided by 5. <clears throat> so, 5 into 1 doesn't go, 1 remainder. 5 into 17 goes 3 times, remainder 2. And 5 into 25 goes 5 times. So the answer will be 35. And because the answer to this question is 35, then the answer to the question we were given will also be 35. Okay, we're now going to do 21 divided by 0 0.03. So again, dividing by 0 0.03 can be quite tricky, so let's multiply it by, well multiplying it by 10 would still give you 0 0.3, so this time we're going to multiply it by 100. So if you multiply it by 100, you will get 3, and because you multiply this number by 100, you also need to multiply the 21 by 100, so add on your two zeros. So we've got 2100 divided by 3, so again, use your shelter method, your short division, 3 into 2 doesn't go, remainder 2, 3 into 21 goes 7 times, and 0, and 0. So the answer to this question is 700. So therefore the answer to the question we were given would also be 700. So, as you notice, that, um, you know, if you're dividing by 0 0.03, you just times both numbers by 100, because you just need to get an easier number to divide by. Okay, let's look at another question. So we've got 144 divided by 1.2. Again, dividing by 1.2 is quite tricky, so let's multiply it by, in this question we'd multiply it by 10. So if we multiply this by 10, you'd get 12, and if you multiply this number by tw uh, 10, you'd get 1,440. So you're just going to do 1,440 divided by 12. So again, use your short division. 12 into 1 doesn't go, remainder 1. 12 into, t uh, 12 into 14 goes once, remainder 2. 12 into 24 goes twice, and 12 into 0 doesn't go. So the answer is 120. So the answer to the question we were doing is 120. Therefore, the answer to what we were looking for is 120. Let's take one final example. 
this question we're going to do 0.755 divided by 0.5. Now this question is a little bit different to the others because the, the number at the front has got more numbers after the decimal point, or three decimal places, and the number we're dividing by has only got one. Now, we're only really concerned with what we're dividing by. We really want to just make this number a whole number. Okay, uh, we know how to divide decimals by whole numbers. There's a video on that. Okay, so look at the video on my website, division by um, uh, dividing decimals. Okay, uh, but the main thing is we really just want to make this number a whole number. So we've got 0.5. Well, if we times this by 10, you would get 5. And then you'd have to times this number by 10 as well. So you would get 7.55 divided by 5. Now we can divide decimals by numbers, but there's a video on that. It's quite straightforward. Again, you just use your short, uh, sorry, you just use your short division. So you get 7.55 divided by 5. So 5 into 7 goes once. Remember your decimal point. Uh, remainder 2. 5 into 25 goes uh, 5 times. And 5 into 5 goes once. So 7.55 divided by 5 is 1. 0.51. So therefore, 0.755 divided by 0.5 is also 1.51.